welcome back to our studios here in the heart of the Gambia, the beautiful island of Banjo. This is the morning show Banjo, your daily dose of information, entertainment, news, debate and more. I am Amitela and as usual I have with me the most prominent people that are going to be talking about the most prominent issues. Today with me I have a very or oh, a couple of very important uh, guests and they are from the Gambia Civil Cell, uh, Sequel Cell Association and they will be here to talk to us about or educate us about everything that is surrounding sickle cell in the Gambia. I welcome you all to the platform. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Um, please introduce Thank you. yourselves. Okay, my name is Ali Ubi W. Sambu. I am the president of the Gambia Sickle Cell Association. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you, the young lady? Gambia. Gambia. Association. Thank you very much. And um, my name is Naomi Yai. Uh, a PR of the Gambia Sickle Cell Association. Thank you. I'm Andrew Sambu. I'm the founder of the association of the Sickle Cell Association. Yeah. Thank you very much for uh, gracing this platform to, uh, to talk about issues that are affecting people most, especially in this case, which is sickle cell. We all know that today, the fr Friday, the 19th of June, is um, World Sickle Cell Day. And we'll be talking about everything that is surrounding sickle cell. So to begin with, just to educate our viewers, because I, for one person, I am not educated when it comes to sickle cell. What exactly is sickle cell? Um, thank you for asking that question. Sickle cell um, it's an, it's a genetic disorder uh, with red blood cell, red blood cells. Normally, red blood cells are round in shape and they transfer oxygen to the body. But with sickle cell patients, red blood cells are C-shaped or you can say the crescent moon. And um, uh, we have an issue transferring oxygen to the body. So normal red blood cells live for 120 days, but with sickle cell patients, red blood cells live for 20 days. Oh. Giving um, pain episodes to sickle cell and there are types of sickle cells as well. You have AS, you have SC, you have SS. These are the types, these are just few of the types that we, have, we know here in Gambia, but there are more okay. of sickle cell disease. So you named the types. Is there a difference when it comes to the type, maybe the severity of the case of sickle cell or something? Is there something that makes it different because they all have different names? Yes, there's, there's, some, there's something that makes it different. First of all, there is the AS type. The, this is what the, um, it's co considered as the mild sickle cell because mm. it's less severe. And then moving to SC, the, that one as well, it's mild, not severe, like the SS. SS for SS, uh, a patient has to <coughs> inherit two genes from their parent. That is a gene from the mother and a gene from the father. But with SS, but with AA, with AS, it's just one gene that is inherited from the father or the mother. And the same thing with SC. One gene is inherited from the father or the mother. These are that, 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 that is quite clear because mm -hmm. now I can tell that it's definitely a hereditary disease. Yeah, this disorder. This order mm -hmm. that you can inherit from your parents or your grandparents. Yeah, it's from the your family. Yeah. That's a mis misconception that we have cleared because most people tend to, I for one person, I did not know that. I mm -hmm. thought it was a disease. And when I was speaking to someone downstairs today, he was he <laughs> thought it was contagious. I'm like, okay, maybe it is, but we have people that are going to clear if it is contagious or not. So that's it's one misconception that we have cleared. Mm -hmm. But coming back to um, knowing things that are surrounding sickle, sickle cell. cell. I've asked few people mm -hmm. when uh, about sickle cell, mm -hmm. and most of them tend to explain that it is more prone to African people. Mm -hmm. Is that fact? Is that correct? Well, um, yeah, I, we could say it's, uh, it's, it's like that, because when you look at the um, uh, sickle cell um, uh, numbers, uh, we have it in uh, sub-Saharan Africa, especially uh, pre uh, places like West Africa and then uh, um, in, in the Southern Americas. Like, uh, it's very common there. It's in Europe, it's in America, especially in America. You have so many blacks in America that are having the disease. Uh, this is a, uh, a genetic disease. It's something that uh, people inherit. So obviously it's everywhere in the world, you know, but looking at the population, 
that is why we said it's more it common you know, more, yeah. uh, uh, in this type of areas. But actually, it's, it's something that is global. That is globally, um, uh, that is in, the, in, in everywhere of the world. So, so, so it might, it, it, would it be safe to say that it attacks uh, African genes more compared to um, European or the Western people's genes? Well, we could say it uh, affects more um, people like um, the Caribbean, especially South America, those type of people. But the white people, uh, white people, they have it, but not that much. Not that, okay. So the numbers with white, because the reason why, uh, to research, the reason why is because our uh, family system, because for black people and South American, we have it is like most likely uh, the same cultures. So we get married to maybe close families oh, and all those yeah. stuff, you know, and, and, and the white society didn't have something like that. People from here can go and marry from another different society. So uh, I think this is what, this is why it's very common within the society. Yes, yeah. definitely. Um, Mr. Andrew, yeah. I would like to also know another thing because we are looking at a state that we find ourselves in, which is a, a pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic. In this situation that we find ourselves in, uh, sickle cell patients more susceptible to, you know, having a lot of difficulties when it comes to their condition. Does does the disease or the coronavirus does it play a part in involving or introducing difficulties in their lives? Yes, when you see the, the generally in the Gambia here, I have a lot of complaints with sickle cell people. When they go to the hospital, they don't have really uh, attendance mm -hmm. on the, uh, on, on their sickness. And it's an issue for us. You know, uh, when you have a, a problem and uh, uh, people think that uh, the problem is a minor thing and you, you are crying for your, your, your sickness, sickness, it's a problem. Yeah, it's definitely. So I, I, al I, always, I always said maybe, maybe they don't say, see things really, uh, the sickle cell as a, a, a priority in the Gambia. Yeah, That's why. Definitely. But it's important. It's it important is. for all the sicknesses, mm -hmm. for the health, health personnel to take care and also help. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, so viewers, uh, Mr. Andrew normally speaks French and I would also like our French viewers out there to understand what exactly <laughs> we're saying on this platform when it comes to sickle cell. So Mr. Andrew, can you just recap that in French, please? <laughs> oui, ce que je disais, uh, ce que je disais avec uh, le, la, la, la drépanocytose, c'est un problème ici en Gambie que euh, la Gambie ne connaît pas vraiment pouvoir euh, aider les gens des drépanocytaires parce qu'ils ne connaissent pas trop. Et ce que nous, l'association des drépanocytaires en Gambie, voudrait pouvoir avoir, on aimerait vraiment que nous puissions aider les drépanocytaires parce que la drépanocytose n'est pas trop connue en Gambie. Et on aimerait aussi que le personnel hospitalier aussi puisse les aider parce que nous avons aussi la pandémie du Covid qui est, qui est vraiment quelque chose qui a touché tout le monde. Mais en Gambie, ici, avec les dépanneaux, nous avons une maladie vraiment terrible et qui fait beaucoup mal aux gens. Qu'on aimerait que les, les personnels de l'hôpital puissent au moins aider avec euh, les trépanocytaires pour pouvoir les venir au secours. Parce que la maladie de trépano, et une maladie vraiment terrible. Elle fait mal. Ouais. Merci, merci beaucoup. Um, since I had the recap in English, I'm going to pretend as if I had what you were saying, but I could only hear Konyu and Tereb. I think I heard that right. Thank yeah, you very thanks. much, Mr. Andrew. Um, also, when it comes to um, sickle cell, another thing that I have seen so many people ask me, because yesterday I went around, because I knew most people don't know about it, so mm -hmm. I went around asking them, okay, what are your misconceptions, or what do you think about sickle cell? And one of the things that we are coming up most of the time is, does it uh, show symptoms? For example, we know it's hereditary, mm -hmm. but when you inherit it, do you show symptoms that will, might tell you that you actually do have sickle cell? Yeah, before we go to that, I will just want to add on to what Andrew said, uh, because you asked about how uh, vulnerable sickle cell patients are with COVID-19. Uh, I think uh, we are more vulnerable, because COVID-19, if you look at um, uh, those people that are most affected with COVID-19, are those with immune, very weak immune system. And sickle cell patients have a very weak immune system. So I think we are the first people that they have they should have given priority because yeah. we have a very weak immune system like you said uh, our blood cells 
don't leave that long. They leave for 20 days instead of 120 days. So obviously, uh, we are the most vulnerable people uh, when it comes to COVID-19. I think that is why uh, we felt that uh, this year we are going to celebrate Sickle Cell with the team, uh, Sickle Cell Life Matters, because we've seen how much consideration they've given to uh, um, COVID-19, and Sickle Cell was discovered in 1910. So, and the WHO did declare that every year 500,000 babies are born with sickle cell. Wow. And then out of that, 75% of them die before the age of five. So obviously, when it comes to COVID-19, I think the first priority, the first people they should have um, considered was sickle cell patients. Yeah. Because we have a very weak no. immune system. Yeah. And then, who, if you know about sickle cell, definitely we know we are very prone to have uh, COVID-19. So yeah. obviously yeah. we are the first target. Yeah, yeah. So obviously it should be a priority. <laughs> that is why we said this year, as far as they're spending a lot of time trying to fight COVID, why are, need, uh, why are they not trying to uh, protect the sickle cell patient first? Because these are, these are the most vulnerable people. I think they, are, they should be the first priority. That is why we come up with the team Sickle Cell Life Matters. So this year that is uh, our team because we want to also inform the government because the reason why we have in this um, sideline, we've been sidelined, I think is because we don't put much consideration. Government is not putting too much consideration when it comes to sickle cell. Um, uh, we've through, through our research, we've come to even realize that there is no data on sickle cell. I think which is totally wrong. We are sickle cell advocates, we are sickle cell warriors, we feel sidelined and we think we need to come out and speak because it's Most high time. Yes. We are very important people in the society. We, we run different um, uh, positions in this country mm -hmm. and then we are doing a lot of work for the country. So obviously um, if we are sidelined then obviously it's like we are not giving our due and we are citizens, we have rights. Exactly. So obviously that is why we came up with the team and then um, that is why we, we, we said we're going to use this team and then we coming out to tell the government, um, you've sidelined us, you've omitted a very important population. Uh, because through our investigation, we've come to realize three out of ten families are affected by sickle cell, which is a great number, which people shouldn't, be, uh, uh, shouldn't take life. Because um, yeah. mm -hmm. this is the reason why so many people with sickle cell are hiding. Because they feel that if they come out and talk about their sickle cell status, people will laugh at them, they will yeah. sideline them, they will discourage them. There's a lot of people in the Gambia that are suffering with uh, sickle cell. Yeah. And these people are very vulnerable, vulnerable uh, to, to COVID-19. So obviously they have to give a lot of attention to these people. And when it comes to the signs and symptoms, I think, uh, yes, we can just step in and then I will allow... Uh, yeah. to, yes, but um, some of the symptoms are, one, you will have what, if it is a child, it's, it takes a child three months or six months before it is discovered. Okay. But once you have a child and then you start seeing the child's hands swelling, sweating, the foot, the legs uh, swelling and then sweating, then obviously, and then the child will be crying continuously. Continu oh, okay. And then, because a child cannot talk. Yeah. But one of the symptoms of sickle cell is that when you have it, you have joint pains, you have severe joint pains. Okay. Okay, yes. so it affects most times it the affect joints. joints. That is why yeah. most of the Only time body. when sickle cell patients are on crisis, you see they start shouting, my joints, my legs, oh. you know, this everywhere. And then, the yeah, body. so these are one of the signs. And then you have the yellowing of the eye, you know, fatigue, you know, dehydration, you know, these are, these are some. I will let Kadja to come in and then also tell us some of the signs maybe. She can tell us how she feels when she has Yeah, that. exactly. Yes. And your experience basically when it comes to sickle cell. Well, viewers, before we just move on to uh, yeah. Miss Khadija, I would like to say one thing, which is um, when it comes to, like you said, it's quite very unfortunate mm -hmm. that um, government is not paying attention to uh, sickle cell patients. And we can say that as citizens, like we have done the survey and we have seen uh, just a mini survey and know that so many people don't, are not educated when it comes to sickle cell. We can definitely and confidently say the government as well is not educated because they are not doing what they're supposed to do to protect sickle cell patients. Mm -hmm. um, as a person that is suffering or living day to day with uh, sickle cell, we know that the stigma is existing in society. That is why most people with sickle cell are not coming out to say that I have sickle cell. Mm -hmm. What are your day-to-day -day experiences when it comes to people interacting with people and when people come to know that you are a sickle cell patient? What exactly do you go through? 
Are they, are they going, saying bad things about you? Are they sympathizing with you or over sympathizing with you in certain cases? Um, thank you. But like for me, they're not like I'm um, saying bad things about me. My experience is just that um, people show people sympathy instead of empathy. This is uh, a disorder, just like diabetes, um, like uh, hypertension, mm -hmm. like asthma. It's not a taboo. So we, we, we don't like people looking at us and say, I, I will like, I have sickle cell and, and you will like, oh, sorry. sorry. That is not <laughs> yeah. what it's, this disorder is about. It's about you trying to understand what sickle cell is first and yeah. then putting yourself in, uh, um, in what I go through on a daily basis. That is what sickle cell is about. It's about empathy. We need people to understand us, not sympathize with us. Yeah. We don't like uh, when people look at us as you're always sick, you're always sick. Uh, and having to hear always people say, oh, sorry, or get well soon, or she's always sick. We don't like that. We don't like that. What we want is people to understand what, what going through, we yeah. are going through and um, the struggles we have to face on a daily basis. It's so painful that you have to go to the hospital, just like um, Mr. Sambu has said, and you're not giving medical attention. You have to wait on the line. This is painful. You ask single cell patients, what they'll tell you is, I feel like I'm being stabbed. It's like yeah. someone is sticking mm -hmm. a knife and stabbing me all over and over again. So we need attention and empathy, not sympathy. Most definitely. Thank I, you. I, I would definitely agree with you. <laughs> yes. I, I'm one person. I, I always say this to people mm -hmm. because people tend to over sympathize when it comes to certain issues like yes. this. Mm -hmm. I've seen so many people. I have um, family, families, a member of my family yes. who's suffering from cancer. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I see most of my relatives doing mm -hmm. is over sympathizing yeah. when it comes to her situation. Yeah. So what they would do is they would say, Masa, Masa. Lipi, Masa, Nisan. Nisan. Yeah, so the person is not that. gone yet. And that no. is one thing that we should discuss because mm -hmm. when you instill this in the Person, but it brings in fear, yes. and most yes, of the time, the disease or the disorder doesn't mm -hmm. kill you. No. It's the fear in you that yeah. kills you. Mm -hmm. So I would like you guys to talk about uh, when it comes to that situation, mm -hmm. how to avoid instilling fear in people, because mm -hmm. most people would end up saying, "Okay, if my life exp uh, expectancy is 20 years, mm -hmm. I'm preparing to die when I uh, when <laughs> I turn 20 years 20. old." Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, like like you said, how um. They're going to help us with this fear. Mm. Si living with sickle cell in Africa, it's very painful. First of all, it, uh, it hurts mentally and psychologically. Okay. That's what uh, our society or our relatives instill in us. Instead of understanding you, they will look at you with sympathy or a fear of that you're going to die soon or mm -hmm. you're not going to do this or that. That is not what this, is, this disorder is all about. We need support. We need care. When a friend tells you, I have sickle cell, ask the friend what sickle cell is and then give the person a hug. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's all. Give mm -hmm. the person a hug it, um, because it's so painful that going through series of pain or um, psychological issues, you're dealing with it and people don't understand. People don't get you. Mm -hmm. We sickle cell patients have this fear of uh, doing this tomorrow or living certain lives or doing certain things that we dream of doing just because we are not healthy or people are looking at us you cannot do this you are limited <laughs> to do yeah, exactly, or sometimes yeah. we say that i wish sickle, you have sickle cell person saying that i wish i could be normal you are normal no, no. sickle cell <laughs> is just a painful <laughs> blessing yeah accept it yeah and society or our families friends have to help us in accepting who we are and help us living through our dreams or the things that we want to do mm -hmm. sickle cell patients can be doctors Sickle cell patients can be fire services. You could do whatever you want to do. But first, support is what we need, mostly yeah. from our friends, yeah. society, and family. Okay, interesting. Um, That's yeah, very yeah, interesting. To, to, Calling to, to, sickle cell a uh, yes. blessing, a uh, painful blessing. blessing. It's very interesting. Yeah. You know, I like, I like her sense of humor. She is somebody that inspires me a lot. You know, um, I don't usually talk about it, but, you know, I, I heard from her. She's, she's the first person that I had saying sickle cell is a blessing. You know, when I first had her saying that, I'm like, yeah, it's a blessing because this is the greatest gift that you have taken from your mm -hmm. mom and your dad. It's something mm -hmm. that you inherit. You've taken too much genes. From them, yeah. <laughs> so obviously, out of the whole family, you are the only one who took so much gene mm -hmm. from your parents. Mm -hmm. Then obviously, it's a blessing. Yeah, it, it so, is a blessing. So when I, when, when, when I had that at first, I'm like, yeah, she really hit the nail like she just did. We, what we need is empathy. 
We don't need sympathy. Yeah. We are normal human beings. Okay. I do certain things. People will look at me and say, no, you are not a secret cell patient. I am SS. <laughs> I am SS, SS since back. I play football. I go to the gym. I've been doing so much when I was young. People used to tell me, you are not supposed to do this. I will do it. I will challenge myself. Exactly. I'm a warrior. I don't believe in Most failing. I don't, I don't believe in, in, in this mindset. You know, like she said, what they instill in us discourages you. When mm -hmm. I was young, I was so active. I wanted to do so many things. But because of um, the, 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 the stigma that is um, surrounded with this thing, they will tell me in the next two years you will die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a yeah. child. Death. Mentally, you are killing me. And when you, you tend to believe it, then you're yeah. definitely Mentally, you're already, you yeah. already killing me. You're already killing me. So if I have like five years, I'm like, in the next two years, I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. Even at school, I become dominant. Because I'm like, yeah. why should I struggle? I have two more years to go. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been living with them. Okay. From five years, I passed. I say, ah, oh, I survived. Seven years, yeah. I passed. And then they say, 12, I passed. After 12 years, when people tell me you're going to die, I'm like, you're going to die. 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 Exactly. <laughs> We're all going to die. going to die. From 12 years, I'm like, no. anybody who tells me you're going to die, I'll tell you will die. Mm -hmm. That is how I survived. Yeah. That is how I started ripping that stigma from my head and started living my own life. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you the fact, since then, I became a survivor and I am very strong. I, I always say I'm unique. People will tell me, you're not a sickle cell patient. I'm like, I have SS. If I have crisis here, you feel pity for me. Yes. But even with that crisis, you see me struggling. I don't like people sympathizing me. It makes me weak. <laughs> exactly. The moment you are sympathized, then you become weak. You become mm -hmm. lazy. You become dormant. You feel like you're dead. Mm -hmm. No, everybody will die, whether you like it or not. If you're a sickle cell patient, a non-sickle cell patient, whether you have diabetes, whatever you have, maybe even if you don't have any sickness, you will die. We will all die. All die. Yeah. So point, once yeah. we're going to die, then why, why should we be afraid Warrior. of dying? <laughs> no. Why People should we associate it with sickle cell, not knowing People that... People die without having sickle cell. Sickle cell. Yes. Exactly. Are they better than us? No. No. You know, sickle cell are normal, normal people. Exactly. We are normal people. Mm -hmm. People who have diabetes have the pride saying, I have diabetes. Mm -hmm. yeah. They suffer more than us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once you have diabetes, sometimes if you are infected, they have to cut your leg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't, yeah, exactly. we don't face that. Yeah. Yeah. All we have to do, take our medications, have a drip, and eat good food, you go back to your yeah, normal life. Which brings me to, um, when it comes to medication, like we've already established that uh, the Gambian society or the Gambian health system is not doing its part in trying to, you know, support sickle cell patients. But it, do, you, do you have to take medicine or do you have to take a set of medications to you know keep the sickle cell disorder in place what exactly do you go through day to day um i will excuse everybody for this <laughs> because they don't like me saying it but actually i take my food as my medicine i don't believe in drinking medicine we have foods that my. are rich in the things that yeah. we are going to you get need, from that yeah. mm -hmm. those medications have complications yes I've been drinking folic acid until you see my eyes, they're always yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get rid of it because I hate it. <laughs> but it's normal. It's normal. Now I understand that it's normal. Mm -hmm. That is why I'm unique. That is why I said I am different and yeah. I'll be different. Mm -hmm. I was born different. I have to be unique. Everything in me has to be unique. My eyes, my mouth, my teeth, my everything should be unique, be unique because yeah. I was born unique. Mm -hmm. I inherited a gift, a blessing. Mm -hmm. That is why I should be unique. Why yeah. should I be afraid of it? So for me, definitely, when I was a child, I used to take my medications every day. I went to a certain point that I was so addicted. I couldn't survive without the medication. Yeah. I felt that if I have to continue like this, then definitely I will not survive. Mm -hmm. So I have to look for an option. I was desperate for an option. So unfortunately, I went to Baju because when the ones came, I used to go for medical checkups every month. First Monday of the month, we used to go. go for it. Okay. If you are you're sort of medication, they give you more supply. That was the tradition. When I came uh, across this medical doctor, he told me what I do in here. I'm like, uh, and I told him I'm here for my medical checkups. I come to collect medicines. I'm like, mm -hmm. do you have crisis? I'm like, and I told him no. He said, why do you have to drink it every day? I'm like, mm -hmm. they have to. They telling me you have to drink every day. day. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> and then he looked at me. Are you sick? I said no. no. I said go home. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I celebrated that day. I celebrated that day. You know, and because that, I was that looking for that. dependency because yes. when yes. you depend yeah. on yeah. that medicine, much. most people believe that if I don't take this medicine, I'm going to die. No, so it's psychologically. Psychologically, yeah, you, yeah, you, 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 you need to be strong. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then, and then, and then from there, I, I started looking for food supplement mm -hmm. because whatever Which is, is in the medicines, healthier, yeah. whatever is put is put in the medicines, you have it in food. And we have the food here. We have the vegetables. We have the fruits. We have everything. Mm -hmm. So I started using those things, even though I don't drink the medicines, but I use the supplement because sickle cell, people, sickle cell patients are different. Yeah, we are born okay. different and we are different as patients too, mm -hmm. as warriors yeah. we are different. Yeah. Others cannot survive with that because they are used to it. It's yeah. part of their system, they cannot go without it. Please, if you are like that, take your take medication. Yeah. Take yeah. your medication. Yeah. If you are not like me, please take your medication. <laughs> For yeah, me. That is unique and strong yeah. and it's a blessing. I was born that unique, so I have exactly. to be unique, I have to be different. So anybody, <laughs> yeah. what I would advise people, if you want to do away, if you want to change, look for yeah. a supplement or you want, you want an option. If you want to be like me, you don't have to do it gradually. I didn't do it gradually. I started because. jumping one, two days, two, three, three days, days. Mm -hmm. one, one week for ages, like for three years until I get rid of it. Yeah, got rid of it. And then easy. my system get new, used, used, to used to something new. Mm -hmm. And then that is how I, I was able to leave. Interesting. But yeah. please, interesting. if you're not like me, <laughs> yeah. don't. Oh. Yeah, he's not condemning the no. medicine at all. Okay, I, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Um, like he said, like there are so many food stuff that are so rich in this medication, mm -hmm. that are so rich in, um, in nutrients or vitamins or minerals that are so good than this medication that we use. For instance, six, um, folic acid. It's an it's a iron supplement. Mm -hmm. You have cashew nut. It's very Cucumber. rich in iron mm -hmm. than the folic acid they are giving you. For the folic acid was manufactured exactly. mm -hmm. in a lab. But this cashew nut is you not getting right. everything just from buy it. 25 eat the whole eat. pack and you have uh, an iron supplement for three days in your mm -hmm. body That's and you, you have orange you have banana you have carrot you have lemon you have all mango healthy, yeah. avocado peels, yeah. all those are healthy all those are oxygen giving food G try having one either you eat today an apple tomorrow banana mm -hmm. try getting one every At day least. You are giving oxygen to your body. Do that oxygen you're giving your body every day will help in um, your oxygen to grow more than 20 yeah. days because our, 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 HB, our red blood cells grow for 20 days. Mm -hmm. So you, you instilling that oxygen food in your body will make it grow for more than 20 days. So let's try and eat this food stuff, these vegetables, even this, um, this food, how, how do you call it again? Um, is it local food? Yeah, local yeah. food. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mahal is good. <laughs> Moringa. Oh, Moringa. Moringa tree, yes. Moringa. Oh, okay. Moringa yeah. tree is very good. Oh, yes. I think it's <laughs> Nebedam. Nebedam. Yeah. Nebedam. Yeah. Nebedam. Yeah. Nebedam. Yeah. Nebedam. That's yeah. very good. It's yeah. very good for supplements. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That the move, move mm -hmm. alone. It's it very has, important. It has um, fish, smoke fish. Yeah. Yeah, iron. Smoke fish. Yes. It has smoke fish. It has... It has... Granite. And the Moringa leaves itself. It has the Moringa leaves. You see the, those combination. Mm -hmm. If you eat it alone and drink water, you yourself will take a deep breath. Interesting. Let, you me, add, let me add on that. You yeah, see, yeah. one time I was anemic. Mm -hmm. You know, they took me to the uh, to the hospital. Yeah. Like they didn't have any uh, blood mm -hmm. for me, so uh, they give me many medicines. Mm -hmm. Like I think it was um, FIFA. 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 Mm -hmm. You know, I started taking this FIFA, but I was still not feeling comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So FIFA is a sickle cell. It's a um, blood supplement. Yeah, yeah. A blood, oh, blood, blood yeah. supplement. Yeah. So okay. somebody told me about this boom. Say, mm -hmm. this is very good. Mm -hmm. The first day they cook it for me, I ate it. You know, when you have, when you are anemic, you don't sleep. Yes, yes. you don't mm -hmm. sleep. No. Mm -hmm. okay. That is why sickle cell patient. Most of the time, we don't sleep. We have yes. sleeping issues. We have low blood. Pain. Yes, exactly. So the first day they cook that um, boom for me. I ate it the first day. Mm -hmm. I slept. Wow. But luckily I had it. I didn't eat <laughs> it. I, I ate it and I slept. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next day, I ate the less. Then I woke up the next day, I overslept. Wow. Mm -hmm. Then I went back to the lab, they checked my head B. It's okay. It was going up. Yeah. And That's I was taking FIFA for more than one week. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it shows how rich this rich food is. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And as so Gambians, we can just call it a plus one because Moom is very, we all eat it most You're of the time. You sell it every so day. You just go and get it. And you simple, get your simple, from it. simple. That's like they say, if you don't eat your food as your medication, then you will take your medication as, as your, your food. food. That is true. <laughs> that For is me, I take my food as my medication. Mm -hmm. Man, Mostly. I live my life. But the first yeah. medicine also is. Water. 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 Yes. water is important. Yes, thank you very no. much. You know, had... Water is indispensable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
you can take your water and drink it in, in like me if i take one liter in the morning mm -hmm. i'll just take it before going out mm -hmm. you and okay. then i have my bottle also and continue to drinking stay hydrated yeah sink. so i don't have any problem for sickle cell patients we advise them to always drink water yeah. very interesting as yeah. an, as an uh, association do mm -hmm. you like conduct let's say uh, seminars where you bring in people and you educate them on sickle cell or are you planning to start those uh, seminars well last year we started yeah, we yeah. started and then we started with the school of the nurses and it mm -hmm. really helped because we felt <laughs> the nurses and the doctors are our first partners in mm -hmm. business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. so we find out that most of these nurses and young doctors don't know much about sickle okay. cell mm -hmm. so we as an uh, uh, organization we felt the first people that we need to talk to because our parents knew they know about us but when we have crisis where do we go it's to the hospital. hospital and exactly. who do we face the, the nurses doctors. and the doctors yeah. <laughs> so we came up with the idea to have a symposium at the school of nursing which was very successful we have these young daughters who did a very big research plus our members we were there mm -hmm. and then we have a very big sensitization and trust me after that things did change now, yeah. even if you are a sickle cell patient, when you call me and say, I have crisis, I, I will tell you, when you go to the hospital, just tell them you are a sickle cell patient, patient. on crisis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They know what to do. Because yeah. now, at least, they are changing because of that. Mm -hmm. But we don't have the support. We don't have the support. If you look at the sickle cell association, the members, 90% of them are poor. Mm -hmm. So how do you yeah. expect us to do that? This is the government's responsibility. Well, it's, it, it is they should, they should give us everything yeah. that we need. Mm -hmm. We're helping them. We're doing what they're supposed to do. Going out, gathering sickle cell patients, consulting them. I don't yeah. sleep. People will call me at night and say, I have crisis. I will tell you to do this and this. I'm not a doctor. Do but exactly. because of my experience, <laughs> yes. I have to leave my and sleep and help And you are people. the one offering the help. Obviously. The government is not offering so the help. We, we are not saying give us money. We are part of this. We are part of national cake has to be shared. It must be we shared, have a yeah. share. Mm -hmm. So they have to give us our due. Mm -hmm. At least give us an office. Help us coordinate. We want to do so many things for the government, but we cannot. Because there's we no cannot support. Yeah. Look at, look at the foods that we're supposed to eat. They are very rich <laughs> and very expensive. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah, Sickle cell disease is not for poor people. <laughs> Please. I it's will very say expensive. That. Yeah, and it's unfortunate because that. Because if you look at our are, lifestyle, mm -hmm. We are more like a vegetarian. And look at how expensive vegetables are in the Gambia. But I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a problem. We can all have our own gardens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can create small gardens, have, uh, have cabbage, cabbage, salad, salad. cucumber, mm -hmm. and all those things. We can grow it at our backyard. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not a big deal. I don't think, yeah, if the market is raising Expensive. the prices, we, can, we have options. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we need support. Most we need support because our life is very expensive and then there are things that we need that we want to help the government with. This is the government responsibility and we as an association, we are sickle cell warriors. Mm -hmm. All of us what? here are sickle cell patients. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is the uniqueness of our association. There is no association in the Gambia that was formed by patients. We decided that we need to form this impressive. because we've been sidelined. Very impressive. Yeah. We've been sidelined. So we are all patients. We do things that people cannot do. No. Yeah. Because the way we think, we organize our programs, we fund it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And even going against the norm, because most people believe that sickle cell patients cannot do certain things certain that things, yes. normal, they are not considering, yeah, normal, normal. people can yeah. do. Mm -hmm. So just to, um, before we end the show, I would like to know you guys' opinions or what do you have to say to people out there that are hiding, maybe the viewers that are hiding their sickle cell situation what do you what advice do you have to them because there are so many people that are so afraid to come out and say i have sickle cell because of the stigma that is around it mm -hmm. so i'll start from you mr sambo yes i think that uh, we need really to sensitize people to know first because it's very important and uh, the gambia here i know that uh, we don't come up really with this initiative to go and sensitize because of the we don't have a lot of funds but, to yeah. go out. Mm -hmm. You know, also you need to have some funds to go to the radio, to, to gather people, even the outreach, uh, to go to the um, communities, uh, to the, to like uh, places, places like uh, Serenio, yeah. to, to sensitize people. You need that. So I think that uh, 
to be a sickler is not <laughs> the, the end of the world. No, no. it's not. Definitely, you are not. a normal person and you can do a lot. Yeah. I will take my example. I said every time when they told me, Andrew, what happened with you? I said I'm sick, but I'm okay. Exactly. <laughs> if you're okay and you're normal, like everyone, yes, I'm a person. normal person. Yeah. yeah. So don't have uh, pity on me. No, I don't want that. So everybody will come and just do the work together and we continue. Very, very good suggestion yeah. right there. Yeah. And you, what do you have to tell people out there that are hiding their situation from the people? Um, what I have to say is, come out, um, Sikusel is not a taboo. Mm -hmm. Like I <laughs> always say, it's a painful blessing. And until and unless you embrace something that you've been born with, something that you've been blessed with from the Lord, you cannot live your life to the full limit or the full chances that you want to live. Do the things that you want. Accept who you are and live through this life. Come out as a sickle cell patient. Diabetes patients are standing saying, I have diabetes. Mm -hmm. You have celebrities saying, I have cancer. I have mm -hmm. depression. I have diabetes. I have sickle cell. <laughs> Stand out and say what you have. have. It's a disorder, not a taboo. It's not contagious. Mm -hmm. It's something that you were born. And God knows what's best for you. So he knows why he gave you sickle cell. You have to accept it and live with it. That's yeah. all I have to say. It's a pa it's a yeah. painful blessing. Accept it. Thank you very much. <laughs> like she keeps saying, it is a painful yes. blessing. So, and even if you do come out, then you are going to get the help that you need. need because yes. the, uh, the association is here to mm -hmm. support you and guide yeah, you yeah. as to how to control yourself. Yeah, or how to adding to live that, with uh, it. adding to that, um, hiding a, a disease, hiding a disease or a disorder, it's not safe. Yeah, it's not one you will not all. gain help, and two it will be affecting you psychologically, mentally. You will not be doing the things that you want. You will be limited, always, for yeah, the rest so of your life. And that psychological uh, trauma that you are dealing with every day can cost you that. Not even the disease itself. Not even the disorder itself. Mm. Everyone dies. Everyone is meant to mm. die. Yeah. Just accept <laughs> that. <laughs> I'll leave your <laughs> life. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> nice you. words there from Ami. And what is your advice to those people? Out um, there? To add on to what Ami said, uh, like they say in World of Favor, so go where? Do for you. If you hide a, dis a disorder or a disease, you won't find the solution. Mm -hmm. it, it was because of my braveness, because of me talking to people, I came to know so many things about how to keep myself, how to manage my sickle cell. So we have a problem. We still have a big problem because still now people have been stigmatized. Even before we come to this program, there were people that I called. They were they're telling me like, okay, they don't want me to go to the media. I'm like, I'm, mm. I'm everywhere. <laughs> exactly. I'm everywhere. Know. Newspapers, yeah. TVs talking about my sickle cell. What is wrong with me? Am I, is there something wrong? Wrong no. with you? No, most definitely no, I'm not. I'm living my normal life. Mm -hmm. I think we need to start fighting last. If you want to be a warrior, we are warriors. 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 Yeah. They yeah. deserve a round of applause. If you applause. want to be a sickle yeah. cell warrior, mm -hmm. if you want to be a sickle, mm -hmm. stay there. Mm -hmm. I don't like using the word sickle. sickle. I am not a sickle. No. I'm a sickle cell warrior. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a sickle, stay mute. Indeed. If you want to be a warrior, if you want to overcome that fear, if you want to overcome the crisis, if you want to live a healthy life, if you want to achieve your dreams, Try to be a warrior. And how will you do that? Come out. Come out, exactly. Come out. If cancer people can do it. Mm -hmm. Diabetes people, people can do it. Why mm -hmm. can't we? We are, we, we are more unique. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. We are more because, unique. Yeah. We need to come out and celebrate ourselves. Mm -hmm. Please, parents, please let your kids go out. Let them live their life. Just help them. There is no cure for sickle cell. Mm -hmm. The yeah. cure they have is bone marrow and that one we don't have. Yeah. What we have, what we can do about sickle cell is management. Mm -hmm. If you let the person out, if you talk about it, you will find solutions. Mm -hmm. Solutions that will help you for life. So yeah. if you keep it there, you want your families to stay at home, mm. you, will, you will keep on going to the hospital, looking, seeking for help. Mm -hmm. If you let them go out, come to the association, speak and mingle with us, they will find solutions and you will get rid of going to the hospital all the time. You most definitely. So come out. Yeah. Speaking of uh, parents, before I move on to Ms. Khadija, um, we've seen that, I, or I've heard that most of the time that 
let's say two people want to get married and they both have sickle cell, they can't be married to one another, or if they do, they might transfer this to their children. Is this a fact and how can a person avoid it? Because I heard, I think they do testing to see if you yes, have it. Um, yes, that is one thing that we forget, we omitted, uh, canceling. You omitted, yeah. Canceling Cancel. before <laughs> marriage. It's it's something that people will tell you it's a white man thing. No. Yeah, no. most people tend no. to say no. that. No. Uh -huh. You need to do counseling before you get married. You need to know what genotype you are so that you know what genotype you have to get married to avoid having uh, kids that will give you problems. Problem. That will Safe. make you run around the world looking for solutions whilst you could have prevented, prevented it. Yes. So save your but it's very sad mm -hmm. that the Gambia, I don't think most of us are aware of this counseling. Most no. of us just, um, I mean, it's normal for you to just get up one day and say you want to get married, married. to someone and marrying that person without going through mm -hmm. counseling. You see, that is the reason why you don't have sickle cell very common in white populations mm -hmm. because they do counseling before the marriage. That is why they say it's a black man disease. We don't believe in cancelling. Yeah. Why people will do cancelling? They will know what type of person they are exactly. getting married to. So yeah. they will know what type of offspring yeah. they are bringing in. Mm -hmm. That is how they were able to control it. But they have sickle cell, but mm -hmm. very real. <laughs> but for us black people, cancelling is a white man thing. Yes. Yes. Yeah, more Something that is good for your health is it white man. Something yeah. that can pre prevent so many diseases that we are already spreading around the world. We could yeah. have controlled all this. Mm -hmm. we, could. we just have yeah. to change the mindset. Let's just be open. The world is moving. If it moves, you move. We move mm -hmm. with it. You don't yeah. have to stay behind. behind. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much. And Miss Khadija, do you have any closing remarks? Just to yeah. say a few words to the uh, viewers. I like Khadija. She smiles at me. She smiles. Say something. Miss Khadija, I think like I always say, she's very shy, but um, I'm sure that when we have another show or we have Set another platform, she would definitely give you her words. Kenny, um, didn't have her breakfast. Kenny, yes. <laughs> are you hungry? <laughs> definitely. When we go down, yes, I'm going to prepare her a meal. <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, using this um, platform. I have really learned, and I hope that the viewers as well they have learned because before this platform, I did not know a lot about sickle cell. Now I do, and at least if I go to school, I'm definitely going to educate my peers on um, sickle cell. Mm -hmm. um, viewers, that brings us to the end of the morning show, Banju. This was Social Issues. Thank you very much for watching. And what I would like you guys to do is go on ahead and subscribe to Sahel Network TV, turn on your post notifications, like this video, and also comment down below issues that you have been facing if you are a sickle cell patient or you are also a person that is concerned and you want to ask questions and also follow it up with a hashtag hashtag sickle cell warriors thank you very much for watching and also down below we will make sure that we put down the name of the association and the numbers through which you can contact them like he said he's always available if you call him in the middle of the night he's going to tell you yes. what to do where to go and get help That's thank true. you very much for watching and don't forget the hashtag sickle cell warriors oh, yes. they're all warriors right here thank you very much Thank you. Thank you.